Hello, everyone. I am here on our YouTube channel to let everyone know how this next Sunday is going to happen. Hopefully, you got the letter in your mailbox uh, sometime either yesterday or maybe it'll be there today uh, if it hasn't gotten there already, um, describing to you that the, our church council voted and approved the fact that this coming Sunday on May 2nd, we are going to be tearing all that tape off the pews and fully and uh, completely reopening not only the sanctuary, but our entire facility um, to the general public. Um, we have been monitoring the uh, COVID-19 uh, cases and vaccines and everything else, and we feel that we are finally at a point where we can healthily and safely reopen the church completely without restriction. Now, I do want to make sure, uh, before we go any further on this, that first off, as I've said from the very, very beginning, your personal health is vastly important to me and to the church. If you don't feel comfortable coming and gathering in person, please do not believe or do not think that your faith is being put into question if you continue to stay at home. That is not how this works. That is not part of faith. That is not part of doing anything else but listening to your own health concerns, your own conscience, and how you are going to take care of not only yourself, but your family and the, fa and the members that are in your household. So please, first and foremost, do not, do not think that us opening up uh, the sanctuary and the, and, and the rest of the facility um, fully without restriction means that everyone must come back to church. That is not what it means. It does mean, however, that we want everyone to be there and we want everyone to feel safe there. When you come into church, there will still be masks and hand sanitizer as you walk in the door of the church. If you choose to use the mask, it's there for your convenience and for your safety if you would like to use it. If you felt that you were getting a little bit of the sniffles, but you still didn't want to stay completely home, put the mask on. It will help. Um, but there is no mandate that you must have a mask uh, in the sanctuary building. The hand sanitizer, of course, is, is there to keep people clean. Um, if we've learned anything over the past 400 plus days, it's that cleaning our hands is something that we absolutely must be doing. Um, so we're going to keep the hand sanitizer there as well as in the pews, just to give you that uh, that ability to, you know, if you sneeze or if you if you get something on your hand, it's real easy to clean it off and make sure that everything's sanitized. Um, we will be doing communion at church on Sunday. Now, we will reg do our regular way, um, our normal way, the way that we did before the 400 plus days of COVID, um, which means that you will be given a piece of bread by my hand from the loaf. You will be uh, allowed to dip it into the cup, into the chalice and eat it there. We will encourage you to kneel at the kneeling rail to uh, say your prayers, um, after you've partaken. However, if you are someone who still, who is okay with gathering, but not quite there yet to do the whole communal cup thing, that's fine too. I will have individual cups ready for you that are sanitized and are ready to be partaken of so that you can join us at the table and in communion with us while not necessarily partaking in the communal cup or the single loaf of bread. So please don't make that the reason that you don't come. Uh, we will have that option there for you as well. Um, and finally, the last piece I want to let you know is that over the past 400 plus days, we have grown vastly more uh, informed about how to do virtual stuff like this on our YouTube channel. That will absolutely 100% continue. We are not going to stop doing the services online. We are not going to stop doing all the virtual stuff. Fa our Facebook page, our web page, and our YouTube channel will all still be full of information, of Bible studies, of sermons, of everything else so that you can continue to uh, utilize that. Rather, you are someone who isn't quite yet ready 
to gather in person, or if you're just someone who missed a Sunday and wants to catch up on the series. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing on Sunday. The last thing I want to tell you about Sunday is the brunch that's happening at Sunday school hour um, during our Sunday school hour between the nine o'clock and the 1045 services. So it'll start at about 10 o'clock in the morning um, over at our youth building, which is across the street um, from the church. We will have a, a, a church wide brunch together. Um, and I hope that all of you can be can come and be part of that to fellowship with each other, to eat with each other, um, and to break bread uh, and have a wonderful morning. Uh, if you do have a, a breakfast casserole or something that you enjoy making for breakfast um, that you would like to uh, bring to the youth building, we would be greatly appreciative of it. Um, we will have plenty of food, but there's it's always good to have a little potluck stuff as well. Uh, I know we have. Have a lot of really great cooks in our congregation. Uh, it's always a blessing to be able to partake of all of y'all's uh, concoctions and, and recipes and, and, and everything else. So if you have something that you would like to uh, bring, please feel free to do so. Um, and we will uh, be joining together in the youth building. Um, and of course, we're in the youth building because our fellowship hall is still uh, under repair uh, due to the uh, frozen storm, uh, the winter storm that we had back a couple months ago. Uh, we had a busted pipe and we're still in the midst of repairing all of that. So we're in the, over in the youth building for now uh, because our fellowship hall is unusable at the moment. Um, other than that, if you have any questions about what's happening, if you want to talk to me about anything that's going on, please do not hesitate. You can write down in the comment section here. You can write on the comment section in Facebook. You can email me. You can text me. You can call me. Whatever is easiest for you, I am here for you. I would, be, I would love to sit down and have a conversation with you about anything that you need to talk about. But I hope and pray that you will be with us this upcoming Sunday to celebrate, to worship together, not only the fact that we serve an amazing and a mighty God, but that we serve, but we serve in perseverance that no matter what this world throws at us, we shall, be, we shall overcome because he has overcome. I hope and pray you have a healthy and safe week, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday as we break bread together, not just both in at brunch and at the table together. May God bless you.